plow. Mm -hmm. And looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Right. Second Timothy 2 and 4, it says, No man worth entangleth himself with the fires of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. You know, if we're going to do a good, do a good job plowing or Whatever work we do, we can't be looking back, can we? Amen. If we do, we try to look back, it's going to miss the ground up. That's right. That ain't, the seed ain't going to grow. It ain't going to be no good. And I tell you what, if we don't go, if we don't go forward with the Lord and, and keep looking back at sin and, and looking back at our life and, and looking back at our sins that we did in the past and not letting them go, you know, Jesus said that uh, the blood cleanses us from all sin and he's a forgiving God and he'll forgive you tonight. Uh, if you'll come sincere and humble down before him, he'll forgive you of your sins. That's right. And cast them as far as east as from the west. Right, but as God's people, we can't keep looking back. Right. We can't keep looking back. We've got to take a hold of that plow, trust the Lord, believe yeah. God, and uh, keep on moving forward. Because he said we're not fit for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. We can't be no use for him if we keep looking back. Our witness ain't going to be no good. As God's people, we have, we have a testimony. We have a witness. Tell me, brother. We have the Spirit of God. If you've been saved by the grace of God, uh, uh, you've got a testimony. Uh, every disciple of Christ, uh, uh, they have a ministry. Bless him, Lord. It's just not preachers, but we all got a work to do for the Lord. God has called us unto a good work. That's right. He saved our soul. That we, he said, the, he said, you are the salt of the earth. Yeah. The salt has lost its sa savor. It's good for nothing but to be trodden under the foot of man. Our influence is important. Uh, uh, the life that we live are uh, uh, some, are some Bibles that people, only Bible that people is going to read. Mm -hmm. It's our lives. Yeah. You know what testimony, what witness are we leaving behind? Bless him, Lord. People. And our testimony is going to go on after we're dead and gone. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm glad that I had a grandpa that served the Lord and loved yeah. the Lord. I hear, and I get to uh, hear, hear him talk about him and how he loved the Lord and the songs he loved to sing. That testimony lives on with me today. And, I, and that, makes, that keeps me fired up one of these days. I want to see him one of these days. Yeah. And God and the Lord made that possible that we could be together with our loved ones. Oh, Amen. Right. Do you believe the promises of God today? Yes, sir. The Bible says Abraham believed God. Amen. It was counted unto him as righteousness. That's right. He was called a friend of God. Amen. Because he believed God. That's right. I tell you, he said, no greater love than this than a man lay down his life That's right. That's Bible. for his Bless friends. You, People could only see what God has got in store for them. Mm -hmm. The things that God has got in store for those that love him. You know, people, all they are concerned about is uh, what they got down here in this life. Uh, the natural life, the material things of this world. The Bible says the earth and the works therein shall pass away. They're going to be burned up. It's going to pass away Amen. after a while. But those things of God is going to last throughout eternity. Amen. He said, lay up your treasures in heaven where moth and rust doth not corrupt and where thieves can't break through and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right. I hope your treasure is in, is in the Lord tonight. I hope you put, give him your life. And, uh, you know, he said he's got a matching. He's got, he's got something good in store for you. He came to give life and give it more abundantly. You know, he didn't promise in this world that we was going to be rich in this world. That we was going to have new homes and new cars and a million yeah. dollars. The Lord did not promise you that. But he promises us a home in heaven. Amen. He promises us peace. Yeah. He promises us joy right. in our heart that this world cannot give you. People are looking for peace. They're looking for joy. They're looking for a friend. I tell you, Jesus Christ is a friend. It sticks closer than a brother today. Yeah. And he loves you. And we love you tonight. And Man. we hope something we said has helped you tonight. And if you're out there and you're lost, uh, you just simply ask the Lord, bow your head wherever you might be. And I tell you, God will save your soul. If you're out there cold and indifferent, out of fellowship tonight, 
uh, you know, you, you're trying to look back in life. Uh, I tell you what, you can't look back. You got to keep taking a hold of that plow and go forward today. If you want to be any use for the Lord, if you want to be a witness for Him and be a help to His cause, uh, you've got to have to go forward today. Uh, but we're going to go to the Lord in prayer at this time. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, God, for this another opportunity, Lord, to be here tonight and uh, be able to preach thy word, Lord. And we just pray, God, that the word will go out, Lord, that the seed will be sown, Lord, if they be one, Lord, out there lost tonight, that may be near hell tonight, Lord. We just pray, God, that you'd reach down thy hand, Lord, and you'd, you would save their soul, Lord, that they'd turn their heart and their life over to you before it's everlasting too late, Lord. Those, Lord, that may be out of fellowship, Lord, that they realize, Lord, that they need to be about your business, that they need to be working for you, God, while it's day, while we've got opportunity, Lord, today to work for you, because Lord, we know, God, there's no promise of tomorrow that, uh, we, that we know that this life is just like a vapor. It just appears for just a little while and soon it vanishes away, Lord. And, and I just pray, God, that you speak to them. Uh, Lord, just uh, watch over us, lead and guide and direct us. Uh, bless each song it's sung, Lord. And just have your will be done, Lord. And we love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank the Lord for the preaching tonight. Amen. We've got these prayer requests that's been called in. Brother Willard Douglas.